Welcome to TradesViz. In this video, we'll give you a complete walkthrough of the TradesViz Trade Explore feature and show you all the stats and the data you can attach to your trades in your journal. To explore a trade, go to the Trades Table tab and click on the target icon on the left side of any row. For now, we will try exploring this Apple trade that we have already added for this demonstration. As soon as the Trade Explore view opens, you will see a couple of sections, each dedicated to a particular type of data or functionality. The box on the top left shows you how much you have earned or lost on this trade and the next box shows you the symbol, open date, side of the trade, the trading account this trade belongs to and a couple of buttons each with its own unique function which we will explore later in this video. The next row has auto-generated information based on the trade's executions and market data of the trade during the time of the actual trade. The trade info box shows you all the basic information about the trade such as open and close prices, total executions and commissions related to the trade. The risk box shows you the MFE and MAE values that are calculated automatically. The profit target statistics are calculated based on stop and profit target are values that are to be entered manually. The notes and tag sections are where you can write your notes in full rich text and also add images. You can also add as many tags as you want to your trade. The tags input box auto suggests trades based on already entered tags in your trading account. Up next is the trade executions table where you can view each execution of your trade and its related attributes. This is where you can edit your trade by changing the attributes of each execution by clicking on the pencil icon on the left of each row of the trades execution table. Below this are containers for image files which you can upload manually. You can either select from your local file system or simply copy and paste an image here. Next, we have the charts container where you can generate charts for your trade or generate any custom charts with a number of indicators in them. Let's try modifying some properties of these charts. For the first example, let's try changing the type of the one minute chart to have OHLC bars. To do this, Hover your mouse pointer over the chart and click on the gear icon at the top and then select chart settings. Now, you can edit all the properties of the chart such as adding or removing indicators, changing the chart type or the time frame. Once you have the settings, the chart will automatically refresh. If you think the charts are too small for you, you can easily change the size of the chart by clicking on the three dots icon on the top right corner of the charts box and selecting your preferred chart size. Note that you can not only generate charts, but also view interactive charts and even draw on charts and more. All such chart features are explored in detail in another video which we have linked in our description. The next section shows you the realized PNL per execution of your entire trade. Since this trade only has two executions, the chart is rather simple. Let's take a look at a more complex trade to see how useful this feature is in letting you know how your performance, in terms of profit and loss change during the trade. In this example trade, we have over 10 executions and we can clearly see how the profit loss curve changed throughout the trade. Going back to our Apple trade, the final section is that of a table of similar trades where TradesViz automatically shows you the trades that are similar to the current trade in terms of trade attributes such as profit and loss, total duration, volume traded and more. It's a nifty feature to quickly check out how you performed in trades that have, for example, similar total duration. TradesViz is all about connecting the data from your trades and making it simple to derive useful and actionable insights. With this, we have explored all the sections of the Trade Explore tab. Finally, we will take a look at the buttons on the top right of the Trade Explore tab and explore each of their functionalities. The first button, the green plus icon is for adding more executions to this trade. The red trash icon is for completely deleting this trade and all the data associated with this trade. The yellow gear icon is for setting all the trade attributes such as risk settings, tags and also the auto tagged symbol. The calendar icon is for visiting the day explore view, which is very similar to the trade explore, but shows you info about all the trades you did on a particular day. Up next is the View Fundamentals button which will redirect you to the full fundamentals visualization of the current stock. This is very useful if you want to learn more about the stock you are currently trading and potentially plan your next moves based on the current fundamentals of the stock. Finally, since you can also share your trades publicly, 
We wanted to give you additional control over what parts of your trade you want to share. This is where you control the specifics of that. More information on trade. Trading day and account sharing is explored in detail in one of our blog's posts which we have linked in the description. One last feature that we like to demonstrate is how to split and merge trades. There might be some cases where the grouping done by trades viz is not something you prefer. You can easily modify this. First, we will explore how to split executions from a trade. For this, we will use a trade with more than 5 or so executions so that it's easier to demonstrate. In this e-mini trade, there are a total of 15 executions made over a span of around 45 minutes. Let's say we want to split the first flat position trade, that is these three executions, three cells, two buys and one buy together must make a single trade. How do we do that? All you have to do is, multi-select these executions by holding the shift key on your keyboard and clicking on the three executions and then click on, group apply, at the top of the table. Now select, split and merge executions, and click on, save changes. Now, let's see where this ended up in our trades table. There it is. We can explore this trade and check that it is indeed the trade with three cells, two buys and, one buy executions. What if we want to do the opposite operation of merging trades together? There are two ways you can do this. The first is to simply select each trade you want to merge in the trades table by shift clicking it. Then, click on, group apply, at the top and scroll down till you see, merge trades, select that option and click, save changes. We can see that the trade with 15 executions which we split into two trades of 12 and 3 executions is now back to having 15 executions. The other way to do this is to drag and drop executions. Let's split this trade again so that we can demonstrate this. To do this drag and drop operation of merging trades, simply expand both the trades in the trades table view and drag the execution from one trade to another. This is very useful for merging mixtures of options and stock-based trades. This concludes our complete walkthrough of what you can do with Trade Explore and all the actions you can perform on a single trade in Trades Viz. We hope this walkthrough has been helpful for you to explore the basic journaling features of TradesViz. There are more features that we haven't covered in this video, so we invite you to take a look at our blog posts for more information and an in-depth explanation of all features on TradesViz. Please check the description for the links. Join now, for free at TradesViz.com, and explore your trading edge.